First, we got a moment to stop by and chat with the director of the Hollywood Museum out in Hollywood. He tells us great things about all the old Hollywood and the new Hollywood. So check them out. Here's what he had to say. Good morning, Custom Trends. Welcome to the Hollywood Museum here in the historic Max Factor building. It's a pleasure to have you here. My name is Steve Nicolwell. I am the Director of Operations. We are in a very historic building in Hollywood's history, the Max Factor building, but more importantly, we are in one of his, the historic makeup rooms here at the Max Factor building. We are in the Blondes room where Marilyn Monroe became a blonde. But even more importantly, an idol of Marilyn's was Jean Harlow. She became a platinum blonde in this very room that we are standing in. One of her favorite dresses is on display here in the blonde's room. It's the dress she wore when she entertained the troops in Korea in 1954. One of her favorite dresses worn also on her honeymoon to Joe DiMaggio and other memorabilia in this room. We are in the brunette's room here at the Max Factor building, the Hollywood Museum. Max Factor had color harmony. It was all about your hair, your skin, your face, your lips. Here in the brunette's room, of course, he chose this color. It's the environment for an actress or actor with that color hair, with that kind of complexion. In this room, we have some Elizabeth Taylor pieces on display. We have some Joan Crawford pieces on display. And some of the actresses that worked with Max Factor in this very room that were brunettes. We are in the brownette's room here in the Hollywood Museum. Brownette, not as dark as a brunette. Maybe some blonde or reddish highlights. A famous Brownette would be someone like Judy Garland. We have some items in this room that were from Judy Garland. We have a costume on display from A Star is Born. We have some of her makeup. We have some costumes from when we, she was a child as a trio in the Singing Gum Sisters from Minnesota. Around us we have also Frederick Max Factor Jr.'s makeup case. You will be able to view this. Also, something interesting about this room we like to say here at the museum, if these walls could talk, you've heard that expression. If you can imagine the discussions that might have gone on with these actresses, with Max Factor, how to improve their looks, what they liked, what they didn't like, and vice versa. In this very room, though, we have a very young picture of Rita Hayworth. Her name wasn't even Rita Hayworth at the time. Maria Margarita Conseco also became Rita Hayworth in this very room. We are in another famous maker room here at the Hollywood Museum. It is the Redheads room. It's a fun room to talk about because it was where one of my favorite actresses and comedians became a redhead, Lucille Ball. On display, you can see Lucy's makeup. We have some other memorabilia from Desi Lu, from her films, from her television series. It's just a great, comfortable room to be in. The room is green. It's the color that Max Factor chose for the environment to work with someone with red hair, that kind of complexion. And it has so much rich history in this very room. And it is where Lucy, for 30 years, had a contract with Max Factor to endorse his products and talk about what she is famous for is her red hair. On our way to the historic photo gallery here at the Hollywood Museum, we pass down the corridor that has just part of the amazing Joe Ackerman autograph collection. It's the largest autograph collection in the world, over some 6,000 autographs. Here in this historic photo gallery, which was once a former wig salon, we have over 1,000 photographs of Hollywood's golden era, from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. It's a room that you can spend really, literally, a couple hours in looking at all these wonderful pictures, whether it's the old studio locations, movie premieres, learning about the history of the Hollywood sign, which originally read Hollywood Land, as it was a housing development, Hollywood Hillside. There are so many things to see, the restaurants, the history, and it's a room that I never get tired of spending time in. I'm standing in front of one of the chairs here that was in this room when it was a wig salon. It wasn't just the actresses that were coming to this room. It was Max Factor, maybe working with John Wayne, Frank Sinatra, just to name a couple people. And we hope you enjoy all these photographs. Come see them. There are four levels to the Hollywood Museum. We have ascended to the basement. I like to call it the Dungeon, or the Dungeon of Doom. This space down here also has a rich history because during Prohibition, there was a speakeasy in this room. One of my favorite parts here in the Dungeon at the Hollywood Museum is to stand here amongst these Egyptian items. Behind me is a costume worn by Claudette Colbert from Cecil B. DeMille's Cleopatra. There is also some items from the Silent Virgin that starred Theodore Vera as well. Thank you, custom friends. 
thank you for your visit to the Hollywood Museum, and we hope to see you again. We also want to welcome your viewers to the Hollywood Museum. There are four floors to visit. There is so much more to see. Or visit our website at thehollywoodmuseum.com. We hope to see you again. Thank you for your visit.